Hello everybody, it's Aaron. Welcome to another episode of TPPI. I didn't realize how loud these machines were. I'm in my test age. It turns out this gas burning generator I was talking about in the last episode or two, it actually runs on hydrogen. The problem is it actually only outputs, well it produces 45 RF a tick and the electrolytic separator requires 90 RF a tick to work. So we're not going to be able to do a setup like the crack pack. I don't think that's a viable energy source. I just had to test it out and uh, see if it was going to work. And it's not. Uh, I was also messing around with Steve's carts. I made some mining carts. I made that, um, that Galgadorian drill or whatever. And this is how big of an area it takes out. That thing mines so much stuff, it has to turn back to the cargo manager all the time. Uh, I also made a regular standard drill, which does 3x3. Three three. Um, when you can afford the big one, though, if you do it, and then do it at, like, um, I don't know, level 3 or something like that, it'll mine all the way up to, like, 13 or 14, which is pretty rad. Uh, so, I mean, it was just, I was just messing around with the setup. I threw a bunch of tracks and torches and stuff in here and told it to, um, lay track and put torches if the light level was less than eight to light everything up. And then, um, when it needs more fuel or when it fills up on stuff, it comes back and, uh, just takes whatever fuel or track or whatever it needs. Um, so today you probably saw in my inventory, I want to do some stuff with magical crops. The reason being, I set up a little mob trap and I didn't expect it to work really well, but it's not working even as well as I hoped it would. Uh, so I'm going to end up moving it. Um, it's basically, like I said, I have some regular conveyors down here. A uh, couple of spikes. Actually, I think we can just go in there if it's safe. Um, three spikes for all the um, the tall mobs, and then that one on the bottom is for the spiders. Every once in a while, they would jam up the system, so I had to uh, take care of them. So, the whole time this thing has been running, we've only gotten eight ender pearls, and we're going to need a lot because the way they set up the pack and tweak the recipes we're going to need um enderium a lot of enderium for stuff and tesseract frames and just all kinds of stuff we're going to need to start silk touching redstone which is not a problem uh, i can do the silky cloth for the uh, hammer or whatever no big deal uh, but I figure what we could do is we can make some ender plants and magical crops is now tiered so you have to start out with coal and then go to redstone or glowstone or obsidian and then go to enderium not enderium ender um, so you have to make your weak infusion stone with just this stuff and once you get some coal essence, then you make your regular infusion stone. And then once you get the redstone, obsidian, or glowstone, you can make the strong infused stone. At which point you can then um, make the ender seeds. Or maybe it's one below that. Either way, we have to start off with coal and redstone before we can do anything. The good news is it works with a planter and harvester. So we can set this up right now and get it working. We're going to have to make strong essence is what we need. Yeah, so we do have to get the strong stone. So it is going to take us a little while. So I've made an aqueous accumulator, a steam dynamo. Our tree farm has been working very well. I don't have it chunk loaded. It's only been running when I'm online. We've already got two barrels full of logs. And the woodcutter on this thing is... That's about half. 
and it shouldn't be on. I thought I had it locked. I wanted to turn it off because I don't want that barrel to fill up. So one thing I forgot to bring were uh, item ducks or something. But I figured since the wood is right here, we can put um, put the dynamo down here. Just item duck stuff out of a barrel. Uh, just feed it. Maybe we should feed it charcoal. Probably not a bad idea to either put a sawmill over here or um, a furnace to actually cook those logs into charcoal. So we're not going to have this set up very long. So let's see what's under here. Oh, doesn't that line up just perfect? All right, so what we'll do is we'll put our planter right there. And obviously the harvester will have to go up top. We'll probably put it on that side. Yep, that'll work. Um, I didn't think that the uh, Ender IO item conduits were in this pack. I didn't think they made them for 164, but they did. So that's going to be really good. The only thing that I'm used to is the, um, the machines don't auto output like they do in 1.7, which is fine as long as we have some sort of item ducks or whatever they call them that's that's fine with me so let's see we're gonna run the power right there we'll run the um, the other pipe uh, I guess we can run it out the back this is gonna be very cramped at the get-go so we'll just throw a couple of gold pipes there Yeah, okay. And we're going to use an insertion pipe on the machine itself. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put the gold pipes on the bottom so they're not sticking out. So we'll run it like that, insertion pipe, and then we'll come down to a chest or something. And then what we can do is we'll run the conduit on the side there. The reason I want to use Ender IO is because you can fit everything in one block space, which is awesome. So this would be a much cleaner routing of pipes and stuff if we had Ender IO conduits already. I just have to make the machines. All right, we'll put our dynamo there. I'm just going to put the aqueous accumulator straight underneath it. And I'm going to need, actually, I think I have a water little water source down here so this should get water it does um, all we're gonna need to do is get some wood to it somehow so I think we're gonna have to run to the other place for a minute And I'll just throw a chest right there. I can probably make one. It's not like we don't have the wood over here. I don't even have a crafting table over here yet. 
All right, so we'll use this chest and then um, we'll use item ducks to get the wood into this guy. We may make a little more conduit and um, make a furnace, cook the charcoal up. I think that's probably probably a better way to do it. What we can do is we can just actually put the furnace right here so that it outputs the charcoal straight into the dynamo. So I'm not really doing any mining or anything right now. I'm just going to grab the other furnace. And while we're over here, let's also grab a stack of this. Um, gonna need some planks if I have any in the system over here. And some bone meal. I thought that they um, disabled the watering can, but it turns out there is a recipe for it. So, oh, I gotta make my bowl first. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna do that. I guess I didn't need the bone meal. Oh, it is peaceful mode only. Damn it. It didn't say that when I looked it up in NEI. I don't think. Okay, there, there it is. Just the wrong recipe. Uh, so... We're going to need a diamond to make the stone thing. I grabbed all this essence thinking I was going to need a ton of it, and it turns out I really don't. Let's put it all back in here. I actually might need a little more, but that's okay. Let's grab as many seeds as that gives us, and some coal, and we'll, we'll do the coal. And then I probably will do glowstone because um, redstone is easier to get at the moment. Okay, so coal seed. Yeah, I am going to have to make a few things. So let's grab one more stack of this. I ended up with about a thousand essence, which is a lot more than I normally end up with. So I guess we'll go ahead and make 16 of these. I'll plant some on the side uh, and just harvest them whenever they're grown. Um, what else do we? What else are we gonna need? We're gonna need item ducks. Let's get a bunch of those, and I think we're gonna need a little more leadstone conduit as well. And I probably should have made a servo, but we'll just use a lever. All right. Uh, let's get our furnace, and then I think that'll do it. All right, so we'll just put our furnace here. We'll change all these outputs like that. And let's, it doesn't really matter which barrel we take it out of, but we'll take it out of the one that is the least full. We're going to disconnect that. And I just so happen to have this stuff to make a lever. We'll just pop that right there and as slow as these item ducks are, hopefully, yep, there's some oak wood. So I did use all that coal. So to just to get this thing started, let's put a stack of planks in that dynamo. And I don't know the power requirements of the planter and harvester, but I hope this will be uh, okay. So 
So let's put some stuff in here. Then we're going to have to go replace all that dirt. That's probably not a bad idea. Looks like it already planted about five of those. All right, we've got water in the can. Let's move the bed right now while we're at it because it's still over here. And I'm about ready to move all the items, but um, haven't done the preparation for that yet, so that'll wait a little longer. Once I get this going, I'll probably leave that mob farm running for a little while longer, and then um, just expand the base into, into the side of the mountain there. I had to make a weird turn with this hallway because of where I set up the mob grinder, so um, I'll fix that. And I noticed on the other side of the mountain, it, oh look, we're getting an Enderman right now. It actually uh, borders on this little pond, so I figure what we can do is, however we end up building, make a big old window over here so we can kind of see out and have some scenery since I didn't I didn't really find um, a place with caves with any scenic views or anything like that so let's come out here and replace all our dirt and I guess I could hook up the harvester And then we just do this. And I think we only need eight of these to upgrade the stone. Uh, but what I'll probably do is I'll, um, I'll let it run for a little while, get a few more, just uh, so I can have some extra on hand if I need them for anything. And then um, I'll move on to the glowstone and then up to the, uh, to the ender seeds. And I don't know in the config if they made it so there's a small chance of getting a second seed drop when this thing gets harvested. So um, I don't know if we're going to get lucky on that front, but uh, I guess we'll just wait and see. So we should almost have eight already. That was quick. This watering can is awesome. I'm really looking forward to in the 1.7 I think there's one that's a it's really expensive but you can put it in an autonomous activator again uh, so you can use it instead of a sprinkler because um, the way the watering can works I think it actually um, speeds up the tick rate and the sprinkler simulates bone meal or maybe it's the other way around. Uh, either way, some things don't work with the watering can and they work with the sprinkler or, or vice versa. All right, so we've already got our second tier infusion stone. Why do I keep doing that? Here's my book right here. So this one, let's look at the use on it. Here it is. Alright, so we're going to need a redstone or glowstone essence. And a few of these, I think. So let's see what glowstone seeds take. So I'm going to need uh, 16 of those things. And I think that actually might get me. Oh, see, that's what I hate. Okay. The weak infusion stone will make the recipe. But it's not backward compatible. So let's only do half because that's all we're really going to need. I don't want to. I don't want to waste that essence. I've made the mistake of turning it into 
one of those types of essence before and then I needed the uh, the one tier lower <clears throat> and I had to go down and find some more I don't want to run into that again so glowstone seeds I don't have any regular seeds no I do Oh, I didn't make my, um, my regular essence. All right, here we go. All right, glowstone seeds, pow. So you get the idea. As soon as I get eight of these, I'm going to make the ender pearl one. And then I'm just going to leave that, uh, planter and harvester going. I've got my, um, my chunk loader over here. Where's my center chunk? I think I'm in the center chunk, so... We'll turn this up to three by three. And then we can plant the glowstone seeds. Or actually, we'll put them in the planter so that these get planted uh, instead of. I guess we'll just leave one coal there. All right, so as soon as we get the ender pearls a steady steady supply or a significant amount, one of the two, uh, we should be able to start progressing somehow. I'm going to make, a, I haven't made an Illumite hammer yet. I need to do that anyway. So I'll probably do that on my own. Uh, and then um, I'm going to put Silk Touch on, on the hammer and then Fortune on whatever pick I make and uh, go silk touch some glowstone and then, uh, or not glowstone, redstone, and then pulverize it so we can get a bunch of shiny ingots to do what we need to do. We're going to need some stuff for the, uh, I always forget about the pyrothium. Sulfur, and we're going to have to go to the nether. Uh, I don't know if I've been mining sulfur anywhere. Hopefully I don't have to make a centrifuge and do netherrack yeah I'm gonna have to check on that I don't know that I've actually gotten any sulfur I know there's a chance of getting it when you pulverize coal but I really don't want to pulverize any more coal than I have to or I can mechanism it the thermal expansion recipe is the one all right, 10% from those, 50% from the blaze rods. So I'm going to have to go to the nether and find find a blaze spawner and um, farm those guys. I don't know what options we have for moving spawners in this pack. Um, you have to craft the portal gun, the porta spawner. I don't remember what it looks like. I don't. See, yeah, here it is. We can make a port of spawner that requires another star. Um, the diamond dolly will move spawners, and it has. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. It takes um, damage. I think you can only use it five times, three or five times, something like that. Um, you do have mining fatigue and slowness when you're carrying something with any dolly, so. Uh, I could very easily go get a blaze spawner with one of these, provided I have a safe route back to the nether portal. Uh, I, may, I might just bring a link book and drop it, just leave it there just to get home. So that's a pretty good option actually. I came over here because I wanted to check to see if we actually had found any sulfur. It doesn't look like we have. So. Oh, well, I guess we'll just have to pulverize a bunch of blaze rods. So that's going to be my next priority is the silk touch hammer, probably a fortune pick, uh, and then finding a blaze spawner uh, and bringing it back and setting up a trap so that uh, we can get all the blaze rods and sulfur that we need because we're going to need, need blaze rods for that too. 
if I recall. Well, blaze powder, whatever. So I think that is going to do it for this episode. The one I uploaded today, YouTube is kind of being a punk, and it says it's still processing. It's been stuck on 95% for like the last half hour. So I'll probably have to re-upload. So if you see it hit twice, sorry about that, but uh, kind of beyond my control. So that's going to do it, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.